Now, 2016 promises to be a really exciting year for the Selby family. Andrew has started on his path towards becoming a world champion, and his brother Lee, well, he's already there at the top of the tree and knows all about the Welsh greats he's following. To really appreciate your sport, you must know the history. But I follow my boxing history, especially Welsh boxing. My, my younger brother, he boxes too, he's a professional now. He boxed in the Olympics, represented Great Britain. My father claims he boxes, but there's no evidence. <laughs> and, and his father boxed too. There's been 11 world champions before me, and I'm the 12th world champion. The first Welshman to win a world title was Percy Jones. He won that title in 1914. And funny enough, he was born on Boxing Day. Next up to win the world title was Freddie Welsh. They called him the Welsh Wizard. He was born in Pontypridd, but made his name in America. Then there was Jimmy Wilde, arguably Wales' best ever world champion. They called him the ghost with the hammer in his hand, and he learned his trade in the boxing rules. January 1968, Howard Winston became world champion. Despite hurting his hand in a factory accident, he lost one of his fingers and became featherweight world champion, just like me. Let's move on to the 90s. Steve Robinson. They called him the Cinderella Man. One day he's sat in his house eating pie and chips, gets a phone call. Two days later, he's world champion. I can tell you, the hardest part of boxing is aspiring. Robbie Regan, he was one of the best at it. 20 years ago, he became world champion. Barry Jones, he becomes super featherweight world champion. Despite punching power, he proved you can become world champion on boxing ability alone. Joe Calzacchi, the Italian dragon, one of the longest reigning champions there's ever been. Undefeated, and retired world champion. Say no more about it. Enzo Macronelli, he could punch. Gavin Reese, for a short guy, he had one of the best jabs in the business. Number 11, Nathan Cleverly, as intelligent inside the ring as he is out. Next up, Lightning Lee Selby. <laughs> I don't know. What am I going to say about myself? One of the hardest working boxers in the sport. I never give up, stay focused, determined, and I always find a way to win. I, I've, I've proven my worth in Great Britain, and I, now I want to establish my name on the world scene. You look at some of the past fighters, like Joe Kalzaki, for example. He, he went to America in the latter end of his career, and I've heard him say he wish he did this sooner. I'm, I'm going up there now. I had my first defence out there. And I'm going to continue to fight out in America and try and build my name. And the 13th world champion, I believe, is going to be my younger brother, Andrew Selby. I believe my brother could be the best Welsh boxer ever. It's a big claim, but I've, I've been watching boxing from like eight, ten years of age, and he's one of the most talented fighters I've seen. And good at this, isn't it? Huh? That's cool. I'll be in the next Rocky movie, you know? <laughs> And it's been confirmed this week that Lee's next opponent will be American Eric Hunter. Good luck to Lee and Andrew in 2016.